Shazam! That's a badass shirt. The iPad producer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your favorite fat boy, Shazam, the iPad producer. And I got another video that I'm going to rock with you today. And I just wanted to show you some of the possibilities you can use with iOS devices. I'm currently filming this on an iOS device. It's my iPhone. And uh, I'm going to be using the iPad Pro to show you something that I thought was pretty dope. Now, a lot of times... When you're in the box in the iPad, sometimes you want to bring in outside uh, EQs, outside compression. Sometimes you want to use a mixer. Sometimes you want to use vocals uh, or run vocals through something else before you bring it into the iPad. And one thing that I do love, I'm getting ready to do a video of it, is this hyperdrive, which is what I'm using right here. And I got a USB going into the back of my studio live. You can see I'm getting uh, mic lines from my mic, which is probably off screen. But one thing I wanted to show you, which was pretty dope, was that you can bring out your stems into the studio live. Now, one dope thing about the studio live is it's got a SD card where you can uh, record 32 tracks, 34 tracks of multi-tracks straight to the card, which is pretty dope. Uh, it's trash day today, so uh, forgive the extra noise. Um, so what I did was, once I hooked up the USB drive, I mean the USB cord to my iPad, it allowed me to have all the outs. This thing has a 60... I'm going to go ahead and take a break since uh, the trash man wants to ruin my video. Okay, so one thing that I do love about the iPad Pros is it's got that USB. With the USB, you get the hyperdrive. I'm going to be doing a video on the hyperdrive. So basically what I did was I ran my Studio Live 32 from Personas into my iPad. And um, if you go to, like, let's say we go to Cubasis. And um, if I go to my mixer, nope, that's not where you go. If you go to routing and... Stereo outputs. It gives me up to 24 channels on my Studio Live. So I can route my Cubasis project into my Studio Live, do some processing in there, and then I can actually save it to my Studio Live because it has a 34 channel. It's 32 uh, channels plus the stereo multi track record. So let's say I want to use the effects and EQs from the board. Like say I want to use a compressor and use my EQs from the board and then save it to here as a stereo file or as a multi-track. So I can use the processing from the board, save it onto the USD card, and then either the artist can preview it or I can do some more um, processing via the computer um so that's cubasis but what i wanted to show you is for some reason aurea when i try to use aurea it crashes and this is not because i'm using ios 14 this did it in ios 13 as well as soon as i try to open it it just crashes I'm not really sure why but when i go to aum and i add a track Audio, let's add uh, anything. And then when I go to the routing, hardware outputs, as you see, I can either route it as a mono channel or as a stereo channel. And it reads up to 32 channels, which is pretty dope. This board is actually a 64 channel audio interface. So let me close this. All right, let me bring up Beatmaker 3. Beatmaker 3 seems to be the only program that allows you to take advantage of all 64 channels. So if you look here, these red channels means that they're being sent to the board. 
Now I'm going to show you how that happens uh, on a separate track. But as you notice, I get all the way up to 64 channels. That is phenomenal. The fact that I can go 64 channels in and 64 channels out on an iPad is pretty dope. Um, for the longest, I thought it was only 24 in and out from the iOS devices. But apparently I was wrong. So let's go ahead and, and, and I'm going to let you hear this track mixed out on the board sent over the USB 3 from the hyperdrive. And then I'm going to show you how I actually did it on a different track. So... Now you gotta admit, that's kind of fire. The fact that I can control, well not control, but I can route my audio in here, use the onboard effects in here, which are silly stupid. I mean, Personas, this is probably one of the coldest boards I've ever seen. It's a digital patch bay, it's an audio interface, it's a tape machine, and it's a DAW controller. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. That's the reason why I bought this thing. Um, I'm gonna do a video about this later, um, but here I'm, I'm centered on what it can do with an iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another. Let me see. I'll pick another track. Okay. All right. Now, right now it's sent to it. Um, it automatically sends your audio to channels one and two of this mixer, but I'm using channel one for my mic and I have turned down channel two. So I'm already going to, I'm going to start at three and four, five and six. Now this is just for the sake of this video. Normally what I would do is I would always start at one cause I'm not using a microphone. So what you do is you go to the ins and outs of Beatmaker three, your, which is your routing. You click on that and then you pick. So you, I will go three and four and then you see it, it automatically creates that output track. Then I go here, go to five and six seven and eight, nine and two, oops, nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13 and 14. Did I already pick that one? Now that's one thing I don't like. It doesn't give me check marks to let me know. So 15 and 16. Okay, so now when I press play, So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you can route your iPad to a digital mixer. You can do this with an analog mixer as well, as long as it has a USB interface and it allows multi-track routing. Um, a lot of, I've never seen this video on anywhere else on the internet, so I'm not even sure if people know you can do this. I mean, this isn't a cheap board, but I run Studio One, which is my favorite DAW of choice on the PC and Mac. Um, so I just thought, hey, well, let me see if I can use this as an audio interface. And you can, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. I mean, 64 channels in and out of an iPad, it's great. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. But the key pieces was Hyperdrive, USB 3, Studio Live 32, which is a 64 channel audio interface, a DAW controller, a digital patch bay, and a tape machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite fat boy, Shazam, the iPad producer, and I'm out.